So the Animal Health Disease major at the University of Melbourne is a vehicle to try and teach students all about populations of animals and how we can prevent them from getting uh, disease issues, particularly infectious diseases. Uh, we teach students all about biosecurity. Uh, we teach students about diagnostics of diseases and we touch on areas such as epidemiology where we're looking at how diseases impact populations and how we can control and minimise harm in those populations. So the animal health and disease major is really looking at a broader One Health perspective when we're thinking about health. We touch on topics that don't just impact animals but also impact human health and environmental health and bringing that all together uh, in a cohesive course. Yes, yeah, so the University of Melbourne is an exceptional place to come and study, not just because it's in Melbourne, one of the best cities in the world, uh, and in a location in Melbourne that is just fantastic, a, a campus with a really rich history, but the units that we cover themselves, they're taught not just by one or two uh, people, but we bring in experts from uh, all around Victoria and potentially around the country who can teach these students using their real lived experiences. And those lecturers are world leaders in their field. They're looking at modeling epidemiology in terms of outbreaks of diseases in humans and in animals. We have world leaders who are looking to battle wildlife diseases and the students in, who are undertaking these courses are going to get to uh, talk to those lecturers, learn from those lecturers and really get an understanding of the wonderful array of things we can do to support and prevent uh, diseases in animals. The animal health and disease major allows students to get a really deep understanding of real world issues and how we can avoid them or how we can work to combat them. So in the animal health and disease major, we have a real strong focus on uh, how disease can be prevented using real things that exist in terms of government strategies. We teach students how to incorporate uh, the current plans of action into their knowledge that they can go into the workforce at, as soon as possible to work immediately to help animals in large populations to minimise the risks of disease that they have. One of the things that I commonly hear from students about the major is that it opens up their eyes into the world of animal health, not just at the individual animal level, but more at the population level. We have a lot of students who are interested in pursuing postgraduate veterinary studies, but what we find a lot of the time is that a large number of our students who come through our major find that they no longer want to work in a, in a clinical setting as a veterinarian, but rather they want to work at a larger scale, whether that's uh, tracing diseases, trying to stop them entering the country, managing them when they do enter the country and how we then help the animals that are affected, or moving into things like wildlife conservation from a disease perspective and trying to prevent uh, animals that are suffering in the wild from uh, contracting diseases and trying to support populations for recovery, which we can't do if they're suffering severe diseases. So career opportunities out of the major is always a common question that we get, particularly for students who are thinking about veterinary careers but are wanting to think about other options they can have. And it's really great that I can share with them some of the opportunities that exist. We have students that go to work for the federal departments or state departments in biosecurity looking to stop diseases from entering the country or going to work in uh, animal welfare organisations or government animal welfare departments to try and make sure that if disease does come into the country that animals are supported as best as possible. We have students who supported the Victorian government throughout the pandemic through their knowledge of animal health and disease translating that into human health and disease. And of course, a number of students are also interested in research careers, whether that's in the animal health and disease space or broader biology and life sciences areas, and they can pursue masters or honors programs. So there's a range of opportunities, both in the veterinary world, but also in the broader animal health world that students can step into directly out of their degree or through postgraduate studies. So the world is growing. The number of people we have is growing and growing every day. And the space that we are encroaching into wildlife uh, habitats is also increasing, which just raises the risks that we have what we call uh, transfer of disease from animal populations into human populations. So we're going to just see more and more need for experts with animal health and disease knowledge. And that's where our students can really play a role supporting human health, animal health and environmental health going into the future.